All right, welcome back to SimTech Golf. Got a little product here we're gonna talk about today is my projector came in and I don't know if you can tell, but I got the BenQ 700 STI, the short throw version uh, for the golf simulator. Kind of gonna go over, you know, what led me to that and why, how we got here. Uh, I think I told you from the first episode on that, that I wanted a 4K simulator and that was kind of my goal when I started this. Nothing, I'm not saying anything about 1080p or 1440p. Those, those projectors certainly have their place and uh, that may, they may be right for you. But for me, I wanted to go, I, I just wanted 4K. That was kind of my goal here was to start there so that, you know, uh, I would kind of be on the higher end of the golf simulator. And so that's why I kind of really dove into the 4K projectors. Obviously the holy grail of, of these projectors is the LK936 ST, which is also from BenQ, but that's, as I'm looking right now, that's like $4,900. <laughs> so $5,000 to get the best of the best and it has the golf mode and everything on it where the blues are bluer, the greens are green, greener, so it has a little more pop. Uh, but I did, in my research, I even saw where, you know, Carl's did a little comparison between the, the uh, 936 ST and the 700 STI, and they kind of called it the little brother of, of the uh, 936 ST. And so when I was looking at it, one thing that stood out to me was the lumens the on-screen lumens, they took measurements and they were just a little bit less. The lumens on the 700 STI were just a little less than the 936 ST. I know what the, the, uh, the information on it is like 5,000 lumens for the, for the 936 and you know, 3,500, I think it is either three or 3,500 for the 700 STI. And those are the ratings, the lumen ratings. But what really jumped out to me was that when they held that meter to the screen, that's what lumens they were getting. And they were not that far apart. They were definitely not far, enough far apart for me to justify spending $5,000 on the 936 as opposed to 1500 for the 700 STI. Uh, I do not believe that this is the last projector I'll get. If anything, at some point I will go to the 936, hopefully, uh, if it comes down in price at some point and I can pull that trigger. But again, when I'm looking at my budget, I have to decide, do I want to spend $5,000 on the, on the projector or do I want to spend $1,500? And, and I'm willing to spend $5,000 if I see enough of the jump in it for me to do that. And at this point, I just didn't see it. Uh, now let me say this, I do not have the 936, so I have not set it up and compared it and looked at it. I just was going off comparisons that were on YouTube done by professionals. And, and what jumped out to me was I'm getting a heck of a bang for my buck with this 700 STI 4k, as opposed to paying the premium markup on the 936 at $5,000, because it's the top of the line. And Hey, if you want top of the line, nothing wrong with it, go get it. Uh, at this point, I just wanted to spread my money out in other places, uh, such as, like you saw the earlier episode of this, was the Sig Pro Softy Mat. That by far is not the cheapest. As a matter of fact, it's the most expensive. Uh, but it was important to me to, to get a mat like the Sig Pro Softy, the four by seven, to be easier on my elbows, I'm hitting off a concrete floor and, and I want something that's gonna hold up and that's gonna do me right. That to me felt worth it to get the top end was the mat. Uh, and this to me is worth it as far as bang, of the, bang for my buck. It's 4K, it's true 4K, so I'm very happy with that. As a matter of fact, I do have it running on here and, uh, and we'll show you some video here from it in a minute. But I hooked it up, I've got it mounted to the ceiling and uh, I'm very excited about it. The pictures on here, they, they kind of blow me away. And so I am happy with where I'm at. Uh, 
but it did take a lot of research. It took, I ordered this. It took, uh, it took a month to get here. I think they were back ordered. Uh, but eventually the BenQ uh, sent it to me, 700 STI uh, sent it here. And I'm very happy with it at this point. Like I said, I do want to preface that with, I, did, I have not mounted any other projector up here. So I don't have anything to compare it to real world, me looking at it. But I will say if it's better than what I'm seeing on here, I would be, I mean, it may be better, but if it's drastically better, I would be surprised. This thing has plenty of lights. As you can see, I actually have a fluorescent light above my head. And uh, it's probably, I would say 20 feet away from the screen. Yeah, about 20 feet away from the screen. And this projector is popping. It's, there, there is no uh, washout that I'm seeing. I do not have anything behind my screen. You know, some, I know Carl's makes a, a black enclosure to go behind it. Mine's on a garage door. I've got heavy black curtains on both sides of the opening of my garage. So this is really enclosed in blackness. And so I don't have light bleeding through or anything like that. So I didn't really even need the, the, the black, uh, cover behind the screen. I just went with a basic Carl C enclosure and did not add the uh, back attachment to it. So, and I get plenty of, of pop with this, with this projector. So my initial impressions, I am very happy with the BenQ 700 STI. Uh, I went through a lot of research, talked to a lot of people and for the, and getting your best bang for the buck, I do believe this is it. Uh, and I'm happy with it. It does come with a dongle, like a TV dongle that you put on the back. I'm sure you've all seen the videos. Uh, it gives you the access. I got Fubo TV, so it gives me the access to Fubo and all the other, you know, things that you would like to stream on here. And that's the funny thing. I really bought this just totally for the simulator aspect, the golf simulator aspect of it. But now I find myself in here quite a bit watching sporting events. I am a, I am a uh, sports nut. I like, you know, I'm in the Braves. Uh, I, I watch some Hawks for Atlanta. I'm from born in Atlanta. I live in Tuscaloosa now, but I do follow the Braves. I do follow the Hawks. I do follow the Falcons. I'm into college basketball a lot here at Alabama, college football. So I am a sports enthusiast, I would say, as far as watching it. And I find myself in here watching it uh, probably way more than I should, but you know, it's a, like 168 inches of TV here. So that, uh, that's hard to beat. And, and, and the clarity of it is what got me. I mean, it's, it's got me. I'm just going to say that anyway. Uh, so I do want to talk about that. The TV dongle comes with it. It's got a little dedicated HDMI port that you plug into the back of your, into the back of the projector. And then if you're going to hang it, from the ceiling like I did, and I'll show you it in a minute. You actually do, you hold it, it mounts upside down. And then when you go into the settings of the projector, it gives you like four listings of how you can mount it. And when you select ceiling, it flips the image for you automatically and then gives you a upside down image until you mount it up and then it's obviously right side up. Uh, so the mounting was fairly easy. You know, you're gonna get your short, your, your throw ratio. I believe mine was something like 13 feet to maybe 17 feet or 16 feet. It was like two or three feet, 13 to 15, 16, something like that. Anyway, what I did is I got on my, I got a ladder and I got up there and I, you know, tried to simulate mounting it, you know, real low, real high. The thing with the BenQ 700 STI is I think you do got to get it 13 feet. So if your hitting area like mine is around 10 or 11, then you do have to worry about the shadows that it's going to cast from behind you. So yes, mine is probably, I would say maybe, maybe a foot and a half behind where I'm hitting. And then the, it's kind of mounted maybe six to eight inches off the ceiling. I, I actually initially thought I was supposed to mount it and get it a lot lower, but the lower you go, obviously the chances of the shadow playing, uh, getting on your screen increases. So I ended up finding a sweet spot. Like I said, it's about 
13 feet. I'm hitting at about 11 feet. So it's about two feet behind me, dead in the center. And it, there's no way I'm gonna hit it with my club as my ceilings are 10 and a half feet tall. Uh, so I'm happy about that. Um, the, there is no shadow now. I had my son, you know, address the ball and, and swing a few times and I'm getting no shadow. Every now and then on a driver, you'll get a, I'll get a little bit of the end of the club on the bottom left of the screen just for a half a second. But if you're keeping your head down and hitting through the ball, you're certainly not seeing it. And by the time you finish your swing, it's gone. So virtually no shadows at all. Definitely no shadows on the person hitting. I may get a little bit on the head of the driver at the lower left corner as you follow through, but you're not even going to see that. And if and if somebody's watching you, they're not going to see it maybe but a millisecond. So very happy where I put it. It's out of the way. It's up high. It's not casting a shadow on my 4K screen. So, you know, hats off to that. It does work. Uh, so I'm right now, I'm fully recommending the BenQ 700 STI. I know it's a couple years old. And they obviously have uh, newer stuff. The 820 ST from BenQ or is, you know, is a very good one, no doubt about it. It's 1080p. Uh, I think it does upscale some, maybe to 1440. Uh, but for me, I wanted to start off with 4K. I wanted to have the ability to run 4K. Now, a lot of that depends on your gaming PC. And my gaming PC is not up and running yet but it is going to be able to do the 4K that I want. So that was important to me. You gotta decide what's important to you. But to me with the 4K, it kind of future proofs me a little bit for a while. And then eventually I do wanna to go to the 936 and hopefully that will happen in the next couple of years or so. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna just kind of get up and show you how I've got it mounted and, and, and what things look like. I'm playing a video of a 4K video of somebody playing Spyglass. And I'll just let you look at that and look at the projector and I'll go back and forth uh, as it's set up right now. But again, the BenQ 700 STI, I'm happy. It's a very, very good projector. It has settings for, if you're playing your video game, your Xbox, you can set it to first person shooter, role playing game, things like that. Uh, it also has presets for living room, cinema, game, uh, the brightest image if you want it on bright, which by the way, usually I'm not impressed with the bright image, but on this one, I really am. It really makes the image pop and, and get really bright. There's other image, other selections like game and sports that kind of make the color pop a little bit more, but the brightness here really makes the the overall image to me open up and gets just a beautiful look. But anyway, I'm gonna get up and start showing you around and I'll continue to talk about the BenQ 700 STI. Uh, let me get this. This is, I'm just gonna show you the 4K image right now. I think you can see that. This is this guy actually playing the course and that's uh, par four on Spyglass. And you can just see how it pops. I mean, that is something. That is that is him hitting out of the rough there. But uh, it the image, I'm thoroughly impressed with it. It, it. it is as detailed as any TV that I had. And as you can see, it is just beautiful. A beautiful 4K image. And uh, super happy with that. Let's see if he makes the putt. He misses the putt. Anyway, coming back to this, and now I'm gonna show you how I've got the projector and everything set up here. Let's see. Let's see if I can switch this camera. Well, I can't figure out how to do it, so let's do this. You can see the projector. There it is in relation to the screen. And there's that's, that's the BenQ 700. And as you can tell, it is upside down. And it's, that's the way it's supposed to be mounted. And so it is It is upside down. And it was easy to mount, three holes. I got a universal uh, mount and it fit perfectly. It had four arms, but I only had to use three of them because there's only three holes. But I ran the HDMI, as you can see. I did the little tracks to hide the wires. 
and ran the HDMI from, as you see, my two monitors, and then you go down here to my gaming PC. So it, the HDMI goes you know, up this wall, and then over, and then up to the projector. And so there's, there's the projector with the HDMI in it. Uh, hopefully I'll have this thing up and running. You can see the extension cord I have running from the projector to where the actual motor for the garage door was. And so I've still got that power up there. So that powers the projector. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then it, I kind of tightly ran it to the projector. And then there's the projector and there's the, and there's the hit mat, as you can see now. And I'll back up and give you a full picture of it all. You know, the, there's the projector, the hit mat, and the screen. So I'm uh, very happy with it. I think it, it's, it's just a wonderful look. You know, I did the lighting around the, the, the hitting mat and around the room, actually, as you can see. And that's the rest of the kind of where people are watching. And then you got the monitors that give you the club data and everything else. But 700 STI from BenQ, super happy as it is right now. Uh, we'll see. I just love the 4K look of it. I love the clarity, the way the image pops. And I love the fact that I got the, the uh, BenQ projector way up high and there is no... And I'll show you. I'm going to address the ball and kind of show you the picture at the same time. This is me addressing my hitting spot. And as you can see, no shadows. So, I mean, it is, uh, it is, I'm swinging now that you can't, you can see my hand, but you can't see any shadow on the screen. So yeah, really happy with that. Happy with the whole thing and uh, can't endorse it enough. So again, I appreciate you tuning in for this little review of the Ben. Q700 STI. Again, I'm not saying it's the best, but I am saying for the money, I do think it's the best as far as the budget for $14.99. I believe you can get it now. I'll leave that link down at the bottom. And I am very happy with the money I spent. Uh, do I think the 936 is probably better? Sure it is. It's $5,000. But as that comes down and gets more affordable for me, then I'll make the upgrade. But for right now, I've got 4K. 4K is working. This thing is plenty bright at the 3000 lumen level. So uh, I believe the lumens measured on the screen are very similar to the 936, which means you're getting true brightness. The, 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 you're getting close to the same brightness of the 936 that you're getting here. I know it's rated at 5000 and this is rated at 3000, but Go look on YouTube where they test these two, and you will see that the lumens on the screen are not that far below the 936, which for all general purposes, the holy grail of, of uh, projectors for simulator golf. Anyway, thanks again for tuning in to SimTech Golf. Uh, we'll be doing a gaming PC uh, video soon. I appreciate you tuning in to the channel. I would like it if you'd like and subscribe, leave me any comments, be glad to give you some of my advice on what I've learned so far from selecting the BenQ 700 STI. And in the meantime, enjoy your simulator, enjoy building your simulator, enjoy life, because that's exactly what I'm doing. Thanks again for tuning in to SimTech Golf.